glad this morning for the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Glad for the church this morning that's baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank the Lord for a very beautiful service this morning and for all of you that's here. Amen. In this house of prayer on this morning. So thank you for this morning to God for making it all possible. Amen. Here in his life and our stead. Amen. He made it all possible. Yes, so glad this morning to have you in the house of prayer. I want to especially welcome you this morning who, for the first time, are visiting with us. I want to extend to you a standing invitation to this and to all of our services. Amen. We are on our way to meet a coming king. Yes, Amen. Amen. We invited every one of you to come along with us. Thank the Lord this morning for seeing Sister Carrie Brown in the house of prayer. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord for blessing her and giving her the strength to be here with us on this morning. Amen. 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 And we just praise the Lord for this privilege we have from time to time to come together yes, to share the word of God in these last days. I want to say to you this morning that it's a very serious plan. This preparing for the coming of the Lord. Amen. You have not yet considered where your soul is going to spend eternity. I encourage you to do so today. While there's time. Amen. For the Lord is coming soon. And he's coming for a church that's ready. Amen. A church that is ready, saints. Amen. Amen. So if you are ready this morning, I want to encourage you to stay ready. Yes. For an hour that we think not, the Son of Man is coming. Amen. And if you're not ready this morning, I'm going to encourage you to get ready. Because the Lord is soon to come. We invite your attention this morning to the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The second chapter, and there, let us notice the fortieth and forty-first verse. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word was baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And the 42nd verse and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. Amen. I'd like to lift this morning from that portion of scripture that we have read from Acts, the second chapter, this subject. Save yourself. Put it in a plural sense, we say, save yourself. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the church which is sanctified and set apart in this world for the salvation of the soul of men. We thank you for the message today. The message that is able to save the world. We pray this morning, Father, that someone here this morning who is out of the ark of safety would run to the city refuge, realizing this morning that your word will not go out and return unto you void, but it will accomplish whatsoever thou hast purposed it. We pray your blessings upon the word today, anointed with your power, that it might touch someone's heart today, someone that's at the crossroads, someone this morning that 
have been thinking and wondering which way to go. Kept them to realize that Jesus is the answer. His way is salvation. We thank you, Father, in, in Jesus' name. Amen. You have heard the expression at some time in your life. Every man for himself. Amen. Or everybody for themselves. Most often we hear this expression when there is a situation that has been determined to be uh, very dangerous, uh, an impossible situation for a group to continue as one unit. So the word is passed, every man for himself. This happens sometimes in, in, in the sinking of a ship. When the ship's going down and Amen. Everybody's got to think about themselves, saving themselves. Every man for himself. Amen. Even in a house fire, building on fire, sometimes it's impossible to go as a group. You've got to go on your own. There comes a time in life that we as individuals, when it comes to salvation, we must think of ourselves. Amen. I'm glad this morning that God has made it possible that though we are baptized by one spirit into one body, and we are one, that whatever you do, you don't have to hear the thing. Amen. I say don't have to. Amen. Amen. When you have done all that you can to help someone else to be saved, then you've got to run on yeah. and save yourself. Amen. 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 All too often we get uh, bogged down trying to help people who don't want to be saved. Right. Amen. Sometimes it may be a mother. Or sometimes it, it can be a father. A husband, a wife, or even our children. Maybe one of our loved ones are praying. But God don't intend for you to become so bogged down until you are overcome yeah. Yeah. by their unwillingness to be saved. Yeah. Sometimes we can have unsaved children who are drunkards. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And they'll spend every dollar you have drink. And you try to encourage them to be saved. There comes a time you got to run off. And save yourself. Let the drunken burn up. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we have situations in our, in our lives, with our families, and our friends, that is just impossible. They refuse to hear the word of God. Amen. You can't be saved without the word of God. Amen. You got to obey God's word. Amen. It just didn't happen in this 20th century. It didn't happen just recently, but down through time, God has all command men to hear his word. Yeah. When people refuse to hear the word, what more can you do? Yeah. There comes a time when you got to turn them over to Jesus. Yeah. Say, Lord, you help them. Yeah. But I'm going to run on and save myself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen? I know many of you here this morning that's going through struggles and going through trials and going through tribulation. Yeah. Amen. With unsaved folks. Yeah. Amen. Husband, wife, mother, father, children, all alike. Yeah. 
Don't want to be sick. Worm yourself sick. Amen. Up late at night. Looking for him to come in. Amen. Just disobedient on every side. Don't believe the new right. Amen. Amen. You ask yourself, Lord, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? God save the word this morning. Save yourself. Amen. 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 Save yourself. Somebody's house is on fire this morning. Amen. The world is on fire this morning. You got to get out of it for yourself. I want you to understand, you got to see Jesus for yourself. Amen. Amen. You can't always see him for mama. You can't see him for, for father. You can't see him for children. You got to see him for yourself. Amen. Amen. You know you can't make anybody be saved. Amen. I know we want to something. You want to make them do right. I see so long time our, our mothers, you know, there's nothing like a mother's love.
crumb. That's a, a word that we don't think much about. But when it's placed in a sentence, it has a specific meaning. And let's think of it as being meaning to distance ourselves. Amen. Amen. To distance ourselves. I right, Paul said to come out of. Amen. To separate yourself from. Amen. He said here, save yourselves from this underworld generation. Amen. 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 I said something the other day, and it's true, and I, I believe it with all my heart. We are seeing in the church of Jesus Christ a new generation. A second generation. A generation that God did not have to go out into the world and save and bring back into the church. But we see a generation that has been, has been born in the church and have grown up in the church. And all they've ever known is the word of God. And so they're just moving on in the name of Jesus. And I thank God for that because it gives me hope for the future. Amen. If we can just hold on to our children and not let the devil snatch them out of our hands. I don't care how much they squirm and how much they holler and how much they, amen, cry. Amen. What they want to do out there in that world. Hold on to them. Say, I'll not let you go. Amen. amen. You don't understand it now, but you'll understand it later. You will appreciate me later. I'm not going to let you go this year. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let you do that. Amen. I don't believe we ought to have a child in the home and let him have his way. Just to keep it. Amen. I don't need that. Amen. If you ain't going to do nothing for him, you better let him go. Amen. He might join the Marines. Yes. And God knows they'll do something with him. Amen. I hear what I say. They are making my work. They are curing my killing. Somebody say it. We trying to hold on to them, let them have the way. We make them worse than that advantage. Somebody give them, let them go on out in that world and let somebody put a killing on them and they'll come back to the church and have glad to be here. You don't think God has ever done that? Paul said one time, put such a one from among you, amen, that Satan may have him, that he might block in his flesh, that his spirit might be saved. Sometimes you got to let go of it. Yeah. It seems like there's no hope for him, I'm saying. Because when they say, you stay, you keep fooling with him, brother. Amen. You'll lose your own soul. They'll make you curse God instead of bless him. Amen.
Bible tells me if you leave a child to himself, he'll bring you to shame. Yeah. And you can take the words of your psychiatrist and your psychologist if you want to, but I'm going to take the word of God. Yeah. God, if you said you leave a child to himself, he'll bring you to shame. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that's what's happening in the world today. Many mothers' hearts have been broken. Many fathers, and they have sleepless nights because they leave their children to themselves.
when we got an underlord, a, a crooked generation. We have a bent. Crooked means bent. Amen. Means deformed. Amen. It means one that's dishonest. Amen. Deformed. Amen. Dishonest. Bent out of shape. The power of us is bent out of shape. As I heard this morning in the Sunday school, amen, they're calling long right and right wrong. Amen. Amen. All you got to do today is just say something that's good and just, and everybody want to get on the other side. And all you got to do is tell the world, hey man, you can do something better with your life. And they said, what better can I do with my life than what I'm doing now? Amen. amen. You don't know what a real high until you got high on cocaine or, or got high on some, uh, some other drug or some alcohol or some of this rotten wine that's sitting out here today. And they tell you this is where it's at. No. On your television, they, hey man, they're raising up a can of bush or a can of butt yeah. and saying it don't get much better. Yeah, I want to tell you something. Yeah. Somebody need to get on the road yeah. and tell the world yeah. when you get the Holy Ghost, yeah. when you get that power and get water and the Holy Ghost, yeah. yeah. it won't get much better. Yeah. Read. Because that, 
Because that when they knew God, when they knew God, they glorified Him not. The world knew God one time. Everybody in the world knew God because it started with Adam. Yeah. Amen. The knowledge of God was placed in Him, and each generation after Him was supposed to retain the knowledge of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Like a lot of us saying today, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but let me tell you, ignorance to the law is no excuse. Yeah. Amen. God has placed his word in the world. Yeah. And you can know his word. Yeah. 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 You can know his yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Listen to the word of God here. Read it. They glorified him not as God. When they knew him as God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they. Neither were they thankful. But they came vain. But they became vain in their imagination. And their foolish heart. And their Jewish hearts were darkened. That's what happened to the world before us. Yes. Amen. That foolish hearts was darkened. Yes. Professing themselves to be wise, they became foolish. Yes. You know, I've seen that same thing happen in the church. I've seen people come up and was taught this thing every day of their life. Yes. They grew up in Sunday school. Yes. They was in Bible class. Yes. They heard the word of God. Amen. But, but because they forgot about God, amen. Amen. and put it in the back of their life, amen. Amen. God causes their foolish hearts to be God. What you say, Father? say, because they receive not the love of the truth. God still a strong delusion. Causing the believer a lie rather than the truth. Amen. You got to save yourself this morning. Sometimes you fool around these people here, they are under the judgment of God. Yeah. Amen. They can't change, they won't change. Because they are under the judgment of God. Yeah. Listen to the word of God. Read on. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God. And they, they, they change the glory of the incorruptible God. Into an image. Into an image made like an under corruptible man. And you know, God is not something that we can talk, talk, uh, deal with. Uh, it, 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 it's something made by man's hand. No, no. Amen. Amen. Men got statues before. Wood, stone, earth, silver, gold. Yeah. They got eyes that can't see, ears that can't hear. Amen. Amen. A mouth that can't speak. Amen. A heart that can't understand. No. Amen. Amen. Our God is not like that. No, no, no. Our God isn't something you can worship. It made with men's hands. Amen. 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 Oh, we don't worship those things. We think that's just offer for people to bow down to full statues. But we worship in them homes we got in, on the hill. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We worship those automobiles. Yeah. We worship that bank account. We worship this pleasure in the world. Yeah. Amen. All these things come before God. Amen. Oh, yeah, Amen. Amen. Yeah. I imagine you can call a lot of people this morning and say, why aren't you at church? Well, you see, I've been working. This morning, I want to tell you something. This morning, you better stop and think. Who's giving him strength to work? Amen. Amen. Now, a lot of people walk in the streets, you know. Oh. Amen. They, they would love to have your job. They love to you with that job. And you ought to take time to find and thank God for it. Amen. 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 Listen to the word. And, and to birds. Amen. And, and the birds. And four footed beasts and creeping things. And creeping things. Wherefore God, Wherefore also, gave God also gave them up. To a Let me tell you something. God will get tired of yes. it. Right. Yes, Amen. Amen. He told Moses, uh, Noah, he said, Noah, I'm sorry I made man. I made him for my glory. But he sought out many invention. Amen. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to destroy him from the face of the earth, but his days shall be 120 years. But first he said, my spirit will not always strive to do nothing. Amen. God won't always try to get you to repent. Amen. When, when, when God give up on you, though, I tell you, you can just hang it up. Yeah. Amen. It's finished. Yes. That's why while you're saved, church, this morning, stay in the word. Amen. Stay in the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Look what happened to the world. Amen. Listen. Gave them up to God their gave them up to their unclean. Through, their lust of their through own the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies. To dishonor their own bodies. God. God just gave them up. Amen. God made them a man. And God made them a woman. Yeah. But they weren't satisfied being a man and a woman. They wanted to be something else. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. And I'll tell you, when God give you up, yes. you'll give it up. Amen. And the Word said God gave them up. That's why they got to be homosexual. Yes. Amen. God gave them up. Yes. Amen. To their own uncleanness. Amen. Listen. Through their own, through the lust of their through own Through the lust of their own heart. To the lust of their own To the dishonor of their own body. Amen. Amen. Read on. The truth of God into a Who lie. turned the truth of God the truth. Amen. If I were you and I didn't want to do it, I'd leave it alone. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. So look, so look, I don't mess with them people at that church over there. Don't be telling you the truth. Amen. And if you don't want to do it, it's best to leave it alone. Don't even talk about it. Amen. amen. That's God's word. If you talk about God's word, you're trading on dangerous ground. Amen. 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 Listen to the word of God. Read up. And worship and serve the creature. And they worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed, who is blessed forever. forever. And God don't play second string to anybody. Amen. 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 Do you hear what I say this morning? Amen. God don't take second place to anything in your life. If he can't be first, forget about it. Amen. 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 You know, we're, we're, we're dealing that in this world and be second in a lot of things. Amen. But God's not like that. He's not that hard up. Amen. You hear what I say? Amen. God is not that hard up. Amen. God is not that hard up. Heaven was all right before we ever get there. Amen. Amen. Listen to the word of God. Read on. For this cause, God gave them For up this cause, the he said, God gave them up the vile affection. For even their women's For even their their women's changed their natural use. Into that which is against their them. natural use of their bodies. They changed into that which was against them. And likewise, all and of the likewise the men, yes. the natural leaving the that natural use of the one, burning their lust, one, one, their lust one to another, men with men, and then men with men, working that which is unseemly, that which is unseemly. And Said to the people in his day, he said, Strive to enter in 
Amen. You got to find the straight gate. Yes. Strive, he said, to enter in at the straight gate. Amen. Amen. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead into destruction, and many there be that go in their land. Yes. We used to hear a song years ago that down the road is crowded with unbelieving souls. A lot of people don't want to go because there's so few going. Amen. But I'm glad this morning I made my choice. Yeah. I'm going to take my place with the Lord just by a few. Yeah. Though it be but a few in number, but I'll tell you when God gets yeah. his people together, yeah. yeah. when the saints of all ages yeah. get together, yeah. it's going to be a time. Yeah. It's going to be a big number. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We're not looking for much crowd. Amen. We know it's only going to be a few. But God just keep on bringing a few. I said, God, keep on bringing a few. Amen. Every time one check out, God send two more in.
a parent. Amen. 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 Amen.
change clothes, we'll go regular down and all that kind of stuff. Amen. 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 We get here in church and we don't want to shop anymore. Amen. I got on my agony of dress. Save yourself! 
himself means as many as heard his words were baptized. The only way you can save yourself this morning is to repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God give you a Amen. And only then can you walk with your head up high. Not because you have something to brag about. Not because you have something to boast of. But you can rejoice that God counted you worthy Amen. for eternal salvation. Yes. Amen. Through the precious name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The only thing I can tell you this morning, the best advice I can give you this morning, is with all that's going on in the world today, save yourself. Amen.
He's whispering to you right now. I know he's speaking to somebody right now. Why don't you come here?